Tonight, the town of Vail is facing a lawsuit from a Native American artist over free speech. Comes down to this. Did the town violate her free speech rights when it cut her job after she posted about a controversial painting? In her art, she claimed the Palestinian people were subject to genocide. Your reporter, Alan Janae, is looking at the story tonight for you, and he discovered both the painting and the post were done before she worked for Vail. Danielle Seawalker creates art like this mural, and Vail offered her a position as an artist in residency for the summer. Her work would be displayed in town, and she would be commissioned to create another mural in Vail. Vail had even started promoting it. But then somebody noticed one of her prior works, one that was controversial, and Vail canceled the deal. It is the art of a hunk Papa Lakota woman, steeped in color and meaning. Danielle Seawalker is a member of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe and a celebrated artist, and now at the center of controversy. I just thought, wow, this is, this is shocking that I could just be canceled based on one thing. And I, you know, the longer I stirred with it and the longer I spoke to other people, they were like, this Danielle is is a First Amendment issue. Genocide. It began after her posting of this artwork along with a soundtrack on Instagram. The work is called G for Genocide. There was a piece that was just kind of stirring in my mind and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get this piece out. A native woman in the headscarf of a Palestinian. You see an equivalency with I do. Palestinian yeah. people? Yeah. Before she was offered a contract, that's when we went before the town council and said, you might want to know more about her and, and what we see her to represent. Vail Rabbi Joel Newman told the town of what he said were hundreds of complaints. We saw it as anti-Semitic, that we say that hateful speech is defamation. And defamation is fraud, threats against Jews. And we just said this isn't the kind of person we would want uh, painting art in Vail. Soon, the town called Seawalker, telling her she would not be the artist in residency. I think she was using the comparison of the Native American world to what Israel is doing to Palestine is just wrong. She just doesn't get it. I come from a lineage of genocide here in this country. Yeah, I do understand what it is. Seawalker says she had no intention of creating similar work in Vail. Her attorney says under the First Amendment, the town has no say what she says or does outside of her work there. The town could have said, hey, you know, you can't write about this in your, sp in your art for the town. But on her own free time, she's allowed to say what she wants to do. That's what every citizen has a right to do. Seawalker says since all of this broke, some people have sought to return her art and have asked for their money back. So it has cost her. The town of Vail says it has no comment on current litigation. But back in May, they wrote in a posting that there was, at the time, no agreement on a mural and thus no contract when it cut the summer residency program and left Danielle Seawalker without a job. I'm Alan Janae, covering Colorado First. All right, Alan, thank you.